This speaker enclosure houses two speakers, a large bass speaker and a smaller high frequency speaker. Speakers are designed to convert electrical energy to sound energy. Sound is produced when a vibrating object creates sound waves in air. Speakers have a fabric cone and membrane that vibrates, creating sound waves. This cannon is not creating visible vibrations, but I can feel the vibration with my fingers. If we play some intense percussion, vibrations become visible in the bass speaker. The force producing the vibrations is created by interacting magnetic fields. When electricity flows in a coil of wire, a magnetic field is created. This field reacts with the field of a permanent magnet. A speaker typically has a powerful permanent magnet mounted on the back. Inside the speaker, an electromagnetic coil is suspended inside the permanent magnet. Removing the cone on this small speaker allows us to lift out the coil. The coil is wound from very thin enamel coated magnet wire. In this animation, the coil fits in the center of a permanent magnet. The cone is connected to the coil. When electric current from an amplifier starts pulsing through the coil, a varying magnetic field is created. Pushing and pulling, moving the coil and cone creating sound. The electric current varies in intensity and frequency at the same tempo as the music being played. It is possible to build a simple demonstration speaker. I used four meters of 28 gauge magnet wire, a plastic cup, and a disc magnet. I wrap the magnet wire around a 3 cm plastic tube, creating a coil. I wound the ends around the coil to keep it together. This type of wire is coated with enamel insulation. I use sandpaper to remove the insulation on the wire leads. This exposes the copper metal wire. I tape the coil to the bottom of a plastic cup. Any magnet will do for the permanent magnet. I'm using a disc ceramic magnet. A piece of rolled tape keeps it attached to the bottom of the cup. This is the completed demo speaker. It will create sound. Connecting the regular speaker system to the amplifier, the full sound spectrum is created by these speakers. Disconnecting these speakers and connecting our simple demo speaker, we have a significant drop in volume. The music is there, Moving the mic closer confirms this. The quality is poor, but the music is recognizable. Most speakers are designed using this basic technology. Do not attempt this if you are unfamiliar with electronic devices and electrical safety. This model speaker can damage electronic equipment. It does not have the correct impedance for most speaker applications and electric sound equipment can operate at very dangerous voltage and current levels. Most speakers, from the monster systems used by concert bands to earbuds that plug into portable music players, operate using interactive magnetic fields. The science behind this was discovered by 19th century Danish scientist Christian Orsted.